important case case loss and maintenance in jaspir kaur cycle versus district judge dehradun and others the court is required to consider certain specific factors however such as the such as the status of the parties the parties respective needs the capacity of the husband to pay having regard to his reasonable expenses for his own maintenance and to those the husband is to provide both in relation to payment he is legally obliged to make as well involuntary payments or deductions the amount of maintenance for the wife should be fixed so she can live in reasonable comfort taking into consideration her status and the standard of living she was accustomed to when she was living with her husband however the fixed amount amount fixed cannot be excess excessive or extortionate in shri bharat hegde versus srimati saroj hegde the high court of delhi observed that the relevant consideration to be given into account at the time of assessing maintenance claims are status of the parties reasonable want of the claimant independent income and property of the claimant number of persons a non applicant has to maintain amount that should aid the applicant to live a similar lifestyle as he or she enjoyed at the matrimonial home non applicants liabilities provision for food clothing shelter education medical attendance treatment and so on of the applicant payment capacity of the non applicant equally as it often the case some guesswork is used when estimating the income of the non applicant if there is undisclosed or incorrect disclosed information a wife aggrieved wife or aggrieved woman can only claim the right to reside in the matrimonial home in the case of ashwarya atul pusalkar versus maharashtra housing and area development authority and others it resided the supreme court recognized the woman's right to reside in her matrimonial home and held that such right has a legitimate basis the honorable supreme court ruled that subsequent subsequent to her marriage a married woman has an entitlement to live with the rest of her family members on the husband's side when the property is owned on a joint basis if the wife resides in accommodation as an independent family unit with her husband and children the matrimonial home would be that of residential unit the supreme court ruled this right to reside in matrimonial home is embedded in her right as a wife such right is also implicit in section 18 of the hindu adoption and maintenance act 1956 wherever such a statute is applicable the right to residence has also been recognized under the protection of women from domestic violence violence act dv act 2005 by the supreme court in sr batra versus tarun batra in 2007 in shamima faruqi versus shahid khan the honorable supreme court of india held that husband is under a higher obligation when the question of providing maintenance to the wife and children arises in the case it was held that it is the obligation of the husband to maintain his wife the husband cannot be permitted to plead that he is unable to maintain his wife due to financial constraint constraint as all as long as he is capable of earning so these are few of the significant cases that's all for now keep learning keep sharing with lost grid thank you very much